the world at the moment is facing enormous environmental and social challenges and I think architecture is probably capable of really assisting in solving a lot of those problems. In architecture you're dealing with how people move in a space and how people feel and that's really special because people don't realise it, that we're, we're a part of their lives in a way that they don't understand. Every single day, you know, there's something that we are learning. A constant process of evolution, of ideas, of thinking. And I think that's perhaps the most wonderful thing about architecture for me, is that it's always new, it's always fresh, there's always something kind of inviting us to, to go forwards. Here at the University of Sydney, we offer a comprehensive approach to the study of architecture, not only to design, but also to history, theory, and technologies involved with design. What we're trying to provide is expert skills, digital fabrication, extreme equipment in the software labs, in the technical labs, so as to give you access to a wide range that simulates a practice applied environment. I really love the way you can share ideas with people and there's a space for you to do that. From the ceramic labs to the metalworking labs to the woodworking labs to the computer labs, if there's any kind of lab that you want, everything's here right at your fingertips to do and to make and think with your hands and studying. The undergraduate degree certainly shows you that and teaches you that. That thinking, that strategic thinking of looking at everything and saying how can I how can I do this, how can I solve this problem, how can I make it better, more sensible, how can I improve on it, there's always a better way to do something. I think you've got to go into any position with open eyes. You know, whilst it's important to have all of your skills down pat, the most important thing is really your ability to think and ability to learn on the job as well. I would like every one of our students to enter the workplace to approach the problems of today as well as creatively resolve the issues that we foresee in the future.